Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Gamalinka TV. With me as your hostess, my name is Galina and my channel is about places I like to visit. And today I'm back to Universal Orlando uh, to check out the new Illuminations Minions Cafe. And uh, before I head out that way, uh, let me just stop over here and show you something cool. So last time I was here three weeks ago and uh, they had a Jurassic movie playing um, in uh, this uh, Cinemark theater behind me. And uh, they had uh, two cars parked in front of it. Uh, one was um, Jeep Explorer um, number four, the one that got uh, crushed uh, uh, by, by the T-Rex uh, in Jurassic Park movie. And the other one was uh, Jeep uh, uh, Wrangler, <laughs> uh, the one that uh, Danny Snedry took off-roading. And um, inside of that uh, Jeep uh, there was uh, a Barbasol can and there was that yellow rain jacket. And inside of the, um, the uh, Ford, uh, there was uh, uh, Lexi's purple hat on the uh, on the passenger seat, and uh, Tim's backpack, uh, and um, Dr. Alan Grant's book on the back seat, uh, the book that uh, Tim brought with him. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was so cool. It was uh, so uh, so clever, and uh, also like where did they get those cars? Because the movie is 30 years old, and they look exactly like in the movie. Did they um, like uh, make uh, replicas of those cars? Or are they really like that old, but like, you know, restored or something that that was incredible. Yeah. And uh, let me show you that cool thing that um, I mentioned earlier. So over here in this uh, kiosk where they have uh, Jurassic Park merchandise, they have this cool shirt. See, it says uh, this, sh this shirt design changes color in the sign. So it goes from, from this, like it is right now in the shadow, to this red one. You wanna see? I wanna see. Let me see um, if they let me take it out in the sun to show you guys. I'll just stand over there in the, uh, that sun. Good? Okay. All right, so they let me, let's see. So right now it's this beige color. Let's turn it to the sun and watch it change color. All right, it's turning red. <laughs> it's turning. That is crazy. I wonder how red it's gonna get because in the picture it's pretty red. How long should I stay like this? So is it gonna get any redder? It's like in the direct sunlight. Okay. Oh, the sun is, <laughs> is getting behind the cloud. And it's turning back to the previous color. That's so funny. Cool. And now you know. Let's put it back. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I was expecting it to be like this red, but it didn't happen. Maybe when you like in the sun for a long time, it will. And the gate looks so good against those clouds. And I'm back to Minion Land. And uh, I remember they have this vegan brownie here. Vegan dark chocolate brownie. But if I had to have a brownie, I would rather have one from the tribute store with uh, Ian Malcolm on it. That one was really good and the, uh, the tribute store won't be here um, forever. And uh, this kiosk is uh, probably here to stay. It's not seasonal, I don't think so, I don't know. But the tribute store is seasonal, so I'd rather take advantage of that Ian Malcolm brownie while they still have it. <laughs> so these bushes are still here, but why? What are you hiding? Are you hiding Bob? That's what you're hiding? I couldn't find him last time because he's all way back here behind the bushes. He's like everybody's favorite minion, minion and they're hiding him. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Bello. And uh, this purple evil minion left his teeth marks. <laughs> 
Yeah. And auto is highly recognizable. You can get confused, you know, which minions, which uh, with other minions. But this this one stands out because it's like the biggest one, and it has uh, braces. Yeah. That's probably Stuart. That's probably Kevin. That's another Kevin. We have two Kevins. And that's Dave. Bello. And uh, that's Jerry, I believe. Yeah. I don't know all of them. I'm just assuming they are who I say they are. They're so detailed. It's not just the stitching. You can see the fabric <laughs> pattern. That's crazy. And they all have three fingers. So detailed. Gross insignia. Even the little boots are detailed. See the soles have this pattern. They're not like uh, smooth. So funny. Is he screaming because he landed on those spikes? Are they like hard or something? <laughs> or he's just screaming? All right, minions, see you later. I'm gonna go eat in the cafe. Despicable Me Minion Mayhem is at 45 minute wait. They're always at 45 minute wait. And uh, Villain Con Minion Blast is still closed, but that's okay. Take your time, work all those bugs out. And I already reviewed this store on my last visit here, so if you guys want to see it, um, just check out my previous video. I'll leave the link in the description box below. It's a very cool and funny store where all the minions are cosplaying. I mean, not all the minions, but the minions are cosplaying all the villains. They're dressed as villains inside the store, so it's kind of funny. They're cosplaying. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all creatures, great and small. Well, you're in the Illumination Theater, the Minions! Awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. And after that, well, not right after that, but like in 20 minutes, there will be Johnny and Rasita. And as soon as this is over, I'll go stand in line to wait for Johnny and Rasita because this is so much fun. <laughs> Bye, Stuart. 
we're shaking. Oh, nice. Nice. That was funny. <laughs> All right, that's over. And now I'm first in line to meet Johnny and Rosita. Despicable me. Oh goodness, look at those skies. And as I'm standing here in line, a bunch of people standing over there in line to the Transformers. See the hand sticking out? <laughs> it's funny. There you go, there's Johnny. Oh, Miss Rosita. Hi, hi, sweetie. Hi, Johnny. Mwah, back at you. Don't you know I'm still standing? <laughs> Feeling like a little kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Very cool. Take a bow, Johnny. Yes. And I'm first on line. Half one second. Will you hold this for me, please? Of course, I got you. The clouds are looking better now, but I keep feeling raindrops on my skin. Alright, bye Johnny and Resita. You guys are the best. And what's next? What is this? One size fits all. Overalls. Genuine minion quality. Fittings by appointment only. Okay. Funny. It's a pattern. Alright, so that's make my day here with these unicorns that look like if a unicorn and a hippo had a baby. It's a hippocorn. <laughs> I'm gonna call you a hippocorn. Look at that one, silly one with a tongue out. All right, let's go inside. It was good. Oh, I like that. <laughs> the hand is a fish. It's like fixing his afro. It's like, ooh la la. Banana flavored white chocolate? What? It's a minion blow in a bubble gum. Oh, and there is Teddy. Teddy bear, team the Teddy bear. So this is, uh, uh, this is Bob. Okay, let me see. Okay, everything is fine except for this yellow six. If it's yellow five or yellow six, I don't want it. Sorry guys. Where is he shooting? Up there. At the other minion. Who got stuck to the ceiling. On a bubble gum. Letter. Okay, that's a toy. It's 
like a bean bag. And that's a purse, which is a medium cupcake. Okay. And that's a fluffy taffy. Cupcake flavored taffy. I'm gonna call it fluffy taffy. Because of the unicorn. It's so fluffy! Sort of chocolate. Okay, let me see. Yeah, same thing. Artificial dye, yellow six. If it's yellow five or yellow six, I don't want it. That's good. Oh, this one is sparkly. See all this glitter? Yes, forever. That's good. Oh, he's smiling. He's happy. He's happy because the other guy missed. That's uh, the cupcake uh, Dave made, right? Was it Dave who made this cupcake? Those are real. <laughs> That's a decor. Check out this hippocorn backpack. $90. Yes, forever. It's gonna get so dirty because it's white. Ooh, there is glitter too. And that's like macaron shaped pillow macaron or macaron i think it's macaron macaron i guess it's when it's made with uh, coconut flakes and uh, when it's uh, this kind of treat it's macaron to my best knowledge i might be wrong and uh, beans and peaches bake my day this kind of kitchen too. <laughs> Oops. Steady. Steady as you go. Goodness, these ones are even fluffy. Ooh, so fluffy. And the tongue is on the side. <laughs> Calm down. 
That looks like there's milk inside. Funny. Fluffy unicorn. You're a hippocorn. Oh, evil minion. Somebody had PX41. Oh, good minion. Oh, funny. Shark. <laughs> yeah, everything is cute. Yeah, that's what they need to sell here more of, not the mugs. I have so many mugs already. I would buy something like a bowl or a plate, but of course not this, I don't have little kids, but you know, normal. Yeah, I like this too, the best. These are pins, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, how much? Ten. Ten bucks. This is funny too, and you put them separately. Yeah. Funny. So, lanyard and your pouch. On to the next adventure. Let's go see what else is here. Freeze pups. Sounds great. It's so hot. But I haven't had anything to eat today yet. And it's already after three. Bank of Evil. That's where evil people bank when they need money for their heist. And then they do the heist and they get money and they pay back to the bank. I believe with a hefty interest. But you know, what choice do they have? That's a cool mural. Hello. All right, so the Minions Cafe is now open and it's time for me to eat. Eliminations Minion Cafe. So this is kids menu for mini Minions. Lucy's Top Secret Salmon, Wood Grilled Atlantic Salmon. Okay, that's what I'm having. Or a snurl bowl, maybe. I'm considering that. Uh, sandwiches, they sound good. I just don't want to eat bread. I want something light, it's so hot. I want to eat like beef and bread, yeah. What else is there? Oh, desserts, definitely. I'm having a dessert, rain or shine. And I'm gonna have Bob's Teddy Bear and Otter's Pet Rock for sure. And they have two specialty drinks which I'm not going to have because they look and sound like they way artificial. All right, I got seated. I'm sitting in a break room. There is the kitchen right there. They met me at the doorway and uh, um, the team uh, member, she brought me in the kitchen and she told us that there is the kitchen where the minions cooking everything and uh, she took me here next and she said this is their break room where there is even more crazy stuff going on or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sitting in the break room. I'll show you more of the uh, restaurant later but 
uh, for right now I want to show you what I ordered. First, you you need to scan this, but uh, my phone was so slow and it took forever for it to load and um, we just went to the, to the register over there. The lady who came up to me uh, to check on me, uh, she took me to the register and I ordered everything uh, from there and I ordered myself this. Uh, this is Top Secret Salmon, Otis Noodle Bowl, uh, banana, a side of banana chips because uh, none of my entrees um, would come with those so I had to order that separately because I'm curious how they taste like. Uh, Mel's Meatball Mountain, uh, coffee because I need one, and a uh, couple desserts, a Bob Steady Bear Chocolate Cream Puff and Otis Pet Rock. I'm most excited about that one and they will go good with my coffee. Cool, so this is my receipt. That was the total. I saved 764, which is a 10% because of my uh, pass. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's what I paid, 73.26. Cool, and now we wait. My food is a very beautiful. Mel's pizza. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Lucy Salmon. Uh -huh. Also pretty. Nice. It's all for me. Oh, she's cute. Auto spread rug over here. Goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Auto was very specific with this one. So uh huh. Okay. Soup. Perfect. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Mama has a spoon you asked for. Oh, perfect. Thank you very Did much. Did you get your drink already? Um, not yet. Not uh -huh. yet? I'm going to go ahead and follow. Uh -huh. Thank you. Down. Appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Oh my God. It didn't even take much uh, time at all. Yeah. 3.52. Everything's on the table at 3.52. The, the receipt time was 15.45. So what, what's that, like seven minutes? I got everything in seven minutes. Well, except for coffee, but that's okay, coffee's coming. He'll be looking at me while I'm eating, <laughs> staring me down sticking his down at me. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> cool. Goodness, I don't know what to start with. I think I'll start with this salmon. So this one is uh, Lucy's lipstick taser. So you can uh, squeeze this sauce on top of your salmon, but there is already plenty, it looks like it. So I'm gonna wait and see if it already has enough. And uh, this blue color, it comes from, it's a natural food coloring that comes from um, blue pea flower. Yeah, it's like an extract that you can add to your drink or your food to make it this pretty color. And I, I love um, cucumbers and I love um, edamame, so this is like right up my alley. Okay, my coffee has arrived and a cup of water on the side. And uh, it's too hot to drink right now, so I put some ice water in it and still too hot. Um, anyway, so um, the funny thought I, I, I just had when I looked at all of this, it reminded me Ikea. <laughs> you go to Ikea, to the cafeteria, and you get like salmon and you get these like desserts on the plates from, from the shelf, you know, just, I don't know. It reminded me Ikea for some reason. <laughs> I'm sure it's uh, much better than IKEA, but yeah, it's just like association that like occurred in my brain. Funny. All right, let's try. And for my first number, I'm going to try that soup. Actually, like soup is my first course. Makes sense, right? Oh my beautiful soup. Okay. I haven't eaten anything today yet. I only have coffee. I'm finally eating. Okay, I need a spoon. So they brought me everything, a fork, a knife, a spoon. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, let's try the broth. It's tankotsu broth, which means it's pork broth. Delicious. Good. And um, let me try the dumpling. There is a shrimp dumpling in it. Mm. Let me make it smaller. Very good. I wish there were more of these dumplings here. Okay. Let's try something else next. Let's try this pork. This is really, really good. Even better than the dumpling. Okay. Next noodles. They're a little too long. So I'm gonna cut them. Okay. That's how I eat my noodles. I cut them. That's really good too. So, all of it. I like that there is cilantro. I love cilantro. The corn um, isn't necessary here. Like the egg isn't necessary here. Um, I would be happy with just like pork and noodles and uh, um, shrimp dumplings if there were more of them <laughs> instead of corn or an egg. But it's okay. Corn is good too. Actually, let me try it. Yeah, the corn is, I can take it a little bit. <clears throat> and the, the egg is weird. It's this weird color on the outside. It's white on the inside and this weird color on the outside. And it tastes I don't know, maybe like stale or something. Let me see. I don't know what that is. I'll still eat it. I'm hungry. Hmm. Okay, so this is amazing. Let's try something else. Salmon. Look at all these colors. Oh, it's like orange, let's say, like orange, blue, green, a light green. Like so colorful. And uh, this lipstick taser. Can squeeze more of that sauce. Super sweet and like medium spicy. Um, like mild on the way to medium, but super sweet. Okay. I love salmon, especially when it's wild cut. I love the flavor of this rice. I thought it was supposed to be coconut rice. I don't really taste coconut in it. It's a little oily. Uh, oh, maybe it's a coconut oil. But I don't really taste coconut. But I still, I'm still tasting salmon in my mouth. So let me clean my palate. Oh, no. And coffee, yeah. That's what you do when you smell different perfumes uh, in the perfume store and they have those uh, coffee beans uh, next to it so you would smell in between to clean to cleanse your nasal palate 
no spell it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna drink coffee, coffee for that purpose. Okay, let's try this rice again. Sorry. I do not taste the coconut. It just, but it's still good and oily. Okay, cucumbers are vinegary and uh, spicy. They have a kick to them. They look like um, when you pickle cucumbers and um, just for like two or three days, so they like mildly pickle. And maybe you put some like horseradish in the jar with it, so that's how they would come out if you pickle them for a very, very short time and uh, with the vinegar and horseradish. So, I don't know how they made, but that's how they taste to me like. Yeah, the mom is just little mommy. They're just there. But I like them. Okay, until the next dish. Okay. So next let's try these green bananas chips. <laughs> Get some salt or something, uh, some white stuff on it and salt good. Mm -hmm. Well, they're hotter than potato chips, but they're not potato chips, so that's fine. But they're not as hard as those uh, sweet uh, banana chips. They're more brittle than that, so that's good. Because I'm not a dog. I can't bite hard. So that's, that's good. The flavor-wise, it's a, I don't know, it's a, it's a boring flavor, <laughs> but the salt makes up for it. It's fine. I'll still eat them. They'll probably probably grow on, will grow on me later. I don't know. That's the chips. Let's try something that is more interesting, which is uh, whoa. <laughs> Come here. Something happened to my mic. That's why my audio didn't get recorded and that's why I'm doing this uh, voiceover in this portion of my video. So I asked my lovely server uh, to bring me more hot water to add to my Oris noodle bowl, but she did me one better and brought, brought me a whole other serving of uh, tankotsu broth. That was very nice of her. I liked this dish, uh, almost everything in it, except for the egg. Uh, and in the picture on the menu, it wasn't uh, the hard boiled egg, but it was a soft egg, but it's not a big deal. It's uh, what's on the outside uh, of the egg that, that, that was uh, weird and concerning. I don't know why it was that color, should have asked. So next one, I tried Mel's Meatball Mountain Wood Oven Baked Stuffed Pizza with meatballs, basil, fresh mozzarella and marinara. I liked every single uh, ingredient of this dish, um, but it wasn't easy to eat, although it was fun. So 
and uh, another fun uh, part about it, another fun thing about it, that to achieve that splatter, um, one of the uh, servers told me uh, they put marinara on the bottom of pizza and drop it on the plate and it splatters. I thought it was hilarious. So and next uh, I tried uh, Oros Petrog and Bob's Teddy Bear. And let me just take a moment here and uh, to appreciate how cool uh, these napkins are. They were very thick like a paper towel and uh, they were soft too and uh, they were like sturdy, like serious napkins. So next one I tried uh, Bob's Teddy Bear uh, which is a chocolate cream puff with a chocolate whipped ganache. Uh, the cake part, the outside part, was soft and spongy and uh, uh, the cream on the inside had a texture of uh, softened butter uh, but it tasted like milk chocolate so it was uh, very rich and delicious but not overly sweet and um, uh, super cute and um, uh, it was really good with my coffee. The ears and eyes and even uh, nose uh, was made uh, of chocolate. Uh, initially I thought the nose was a coffee bean, but no, it was just solid milk chocolate. Really good with coffee, goes so well with coffee. I'll be definitely getting uh, this item, this dessert again when I'm back with the coffee. So good. I tried Oros Petrock next. It had peanut butter mousse, strawberry jelly, crushed peanuts, and banana cake dipped in a chocolate shell. I tried picking it up just like I, I picked up uh, Bob's Teddy Bear, but um, I soon realized that I need to eat it with a fork on a plate. I'm trying to show you here how light and airy it was inside. Okay. Ta-da! Peanut butter jelly! Okay. Okay. And let's dip it in this cookie crumbs oh yeah cool all right incoming mm -hmm. I like team better sorry pet rock I like you too but it said less than team the teddy bear And now I'll be packing all my leftovers to this song. Nobody but you for all my life. Cool. Mini boss is a gully. So it's a actual active football table where's the ball oh you just eat here it's just like a table mm. okay so you don't really play you just sit at it and eat and they probably only put people here when there is nowhere oh nowhere else to sit okay I see the ball right there so yeah hold on there you go <laughs> Oh. oh, he stopped it. Cool. <laughs> hey. Grow move out of the way on the score. Yay. Okay, it comes right out. Funny. Love it. Okay, problem, try yellow. Yell, escalate, laugh, lie, offend, wallow. Keep doing it. Is it working? Yes. Keep doing it. Is it working? Yes. <laughs> Keep doing it. Is it working? No. It's auto around. Yes. Mm. 
flame auto. <laughs> okay. Hold on. It's auto around. No. Quit before you get fired. Travel the world. Has everyone forgotten your mess? Yes. Welcome back, party. <laughs> Do you have money? Yes. Give to Stuart. Thanks. 33 ways to take a minion break. Also, pet an animal or meditate. Oh my goodness, this, this takes me back. <laughs> I remember this. Bob. CG? Emery? Okay, these are not minions' names. Josh. Han. These are not minions, and Emery sounds like a girl. There are no girls inside minions. Maybe they will add some in the next movie. That would be interesting. A minion girl, and they'll be like all like drooling over her and like fighting with each other. <laughs> something like that. They love something. I don't know. Something in their uh, nature. Yeah, these are probably the guys who work here or something. Okay, do respect finders keepers. Use lasers to defrost food. Restock after food fights. Take a banana, leave a banana. Don't swing from the handle. Use shrimp ray to make mini fridge. <laughs> Unplug to charge fart guns. Replace this list with a joke. This break room is for your convenience. Share bananas, laugh at all farts, join all group songs, clean up after yourself, okay? I like that. Respect your fellow minions. Break everything, that's why it's called the break room. Okay. <laughs> Micro microwave rules. Do cook banana, lick sides to clean. Don't use to dry off overalls. Follow microwave rules. So don't follow microwave rules. Okay. Cosplay contest, yeah, like in that store, at the Evil Stuff store. Have you seen my doggy? Call it found. I guess, I think I just found it. <laughs> Rubber duck for sale. Oh, come on. Poor Dave. Stuart, you, you suck. I'm gonna call Dave and tell him you. Oh, that's awesome. That's, yeah, that's raisin. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so that was a break room. Punctuality. You can't be late if you don't show up. Oh, there is another foosball. Cool. Collaboration. Go, Carl, go. Share the credit, not the work. <laughs> Funny. Motivation. The most important ingredient. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Either motivation or inspiration. Gotta help one or the other. Procrastination. Because great food takes time. That's true. That's true. Nothing but true here. Teamwork means it's nobody's fault. Yep. And that's their lockers. Full of bananas. Ooh, fancy. You take this and you raise your pinky up. Oh, that's Bob's locker. Hi. Hi, team. What did I say? Oh yeah, team sleeping. Employee of the month, Mel. Recognizing the dedication and passion shown in your hard work. Signed by Kevin. January, February, March. Great job. 
Aww. Little minion chicken. Oh, that's the cookers rolls were selling in the first movie. Why don't they sell them in the Bake My Day store? They can totally like make replicas of this. Look at this tiny computer. And there is that employee of the month. And I guess he's disliked or something because other minions doodled on him. More pet rocks there. Minions vending machine. Yeah, that's their boots or shoes. Gross jello or jelly or jam. Jam. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the wig he went on the date wearing. Yeah, that's very practical. Yep. That's fun. Cool, let's check out the kitchen. Big googly eyes, minion size googly eyes. So that's them working right now. This is the kitchen, and uh, that's how they make your food here by goofing around. And then they get in trouble like this because they goofing around. But this guy is working and exercising at the same time. Like a hamster in a hamster wheel. Oh no, the cook and team the bear. Hi Kevin, why so serious? A shoe? Okay, that's where the shoe came from. So they have three fingers and three toes. In case if you're wondering how many toes they have, exactly three. Just like three fingers. Yeah. It's so yellow. Okay, so this was the kitchen. And now, what's here? Hello. Bello! <laughs> Good, how are you? Uh, restrooms down the, this room, down that way. Oh, this room is fancy. Look at this wall art. Wow. Okay, it's like in a museum and uh, that's a little bit of information about how it was created. So from a slingshot, they shot a minion through this fruit head of this lady and he splattered on the canvas and it came this. Okay. And uh, that's auto noodle bowl. 
Yep. yep. That's auto noodle bowl, all right. And uh, what is this room? Okay, this room looks like a pediatrician office. <laughs> this is a well sign, and this is a sick sign. <laughs> Look at this. It's like the pediatricians. Stuart busted his guitar, and that, that's the same guitar that is there. <laughs> his busted guitar. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Slay, Jemen. Goodness. Okay. I think I've seen I've seen everything that was there to see except for the bathrooms. And this is bathroom quick while nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dave, they painted over him. <laughs> he's like, oh, all bummed out. He looks like he's in, in the, like trance or something. Snap out of it, Dave. It's gonna be all right. Good, good visit, good experience, good food, good people. Everybody was super duper nice. And there is more sitting over here too, outside. Maybe next time I'll sit outside. Yep, that's the dish I just tried and I loved it. And next time I'll try something that comes with um, those uh, minion tots or maybe just order a side of them like I, I ordered the side of this because uh, none of my dishes came with it and um, when your sandwich comes with it you can also upgrade to those um, minion tots and uh, um, one of the uh, team members uh, at the restaurant told me that those uh, minion tots uh, they are German tots that they put in a mold and minion mold <laughs> to shape them up to look like minions yeah and then deep fry them that's funny Yep, that's them right there. They're German tots, shaped like a minion. Funny. Okay, I think I'm ready for my uh, popsicle. Okay, specialty popsicles will be $8.99 each. There are two minion, which is blue banana, and gru, which is Nutella. Nutella, Nutella, Nutella. I don't know. And uh, Vector, orange creamsicle. Oh, that sounds good. And uh, popsicles, $5.99 each. And we have mango, strawberry, coconut, all good. Blueberry lemonade. I've had that before. I didn't like that much. Didn't like it that much. And uh, cotton candy. Um, mm, that I don't want it. And uh, cheesecake. Yeah, not refreshing enough. Lemon mint, oh that is very refreshing. And cookies and cream, that sounds more like ice cream and I'm in the mood for a popsicle. I think I'll do the lemon mint or, or vector. Should I go for the orange creamsicle next time? Let's do lemon mint this time. <laughs> Reflection. So that's that. Vector over there. Yeah. And this is a blue banana minion, and that's Gru. And there it is. Thank you very much. There it is. Let's stand here in the shadow and enjoy it. So, see this mint here? So, it's like actual mint leaves in it.
there is repression. Very, very tart. Not, not very tart, like pleasantly tart. I don't taste mint that much yet. So, I guess they model mint leaves. Yeah, and then, you know, add it to the like lemonade and freeze it. Good. That's good. Not, not too sweet, not too sour, just like perfect. But mint, I don't taste mint that much. I would like it to be minty. I like how they folded this uh, paper around the popsicle on the bottom. So it, it like cupped it and um, the, the melted popsicle was like sitting like in a cup and um, this didn't get didn't get wet. It's like water repellent or waterproof paper. <laughs> yeah, so cool. But I did I, I did have to like tilt it and pour it out of there because <laughs> it was like filling up. Yeah, so I finally tasted mint, but because I went down to the mint leaves and chewed on them, and that's how I got the mint flavor. Without chewing on the mint leaf, you, you don't really have the fl mint flavor. Just like lemonade. But not like lemonade, like minute made lemonade, let's say, but lemonade that you would make yourself. You know, like homemade lemonade and you would put mint leaves on it and then would freeze it but yeah you only taste mint when you chew the mint leaves which is fine i like it it's just not what i expected but i like it this way too all right very cool and uh, i don't think that popsicle had any artificial stuff in it um like let's say that orange uh, creamsicle would have probably had um like artificial food dye in it but that one was just water lemon and mint I don't, and sugar i don't think there is anything else in it not that i not that i know but the, the funny thing is when i went to to get me a popsicle um i just waited for the people who were cashing out and um, i was um next right after that and uh and while i was eating my popsicle there was steadily like line of 20 people at all time <laughs> I was like, wow, when I was there, there was like, no line, good time, okay, let me show you something. And they're getting ready to celebrate the 4th of July here, and tomorrow is July 1st, but I will not be here on July 4th, I'll be at Bush Gardens, because they have great fireworks there, and uh, on July 4th, they'll, they will do something special, uh, something like red, white, and blue finale. Here at Universal's, um, they don't do uh, fireworks like that because they they can't because of the location. So yeah. Come on, get out here. All right, this is great. I love this new addition to the Minion Land. Very creative, very well executed, like brilliantly exec executed. And uh, there is just one thing left for me to try, and it's this um, banana flavored popcorn. Okay, I don't need the souvenir bucket. They are cute, but I don't need them, so. And uh, these drinks, these two specialty drinks, they're also as good as they can be, but they look so uh, artificial that is like, no thank you. I'd rather have a beer. And yeah, although alcohol is essentially poison, I'd rather drink that than this. Okay, I got myself popcorn. It smells uh, not just like uh, kettle, normal kettle corn, popcorn. It has little scent to it. Very, very light scent beside the normal scent. So 
they like lightly coat it. It's like sugar coating and it's uh, yellow. So it got like caramelized with sugar and it's yellow and it has the banana flavor to it. So let's see. <laughs> Yum! I knew I was going to love it. I just had a different kind of popcorn in mind. I thought it would be uh, like drizzle with that like uh, candy stuff, you know, but it's oh, like in the, um, in the sugar, it, yeah, in, in the sugar coating, uh, banana flavored sugar coating, yeah, not drizzle. <laughs> Good. All right, and now let's try this uh, banana bread beer. It says Eagle Brewery um, on the can, on the can, uh, but on the menu it says um, Wells banana bread. But it's the same. It's formerly Wells, but now it's Eagle. I believe um, this brewery purchased that other brewery, so it's no longer Wells. It's Eagle now. And it's a malt beverage brewed with bananas and with banana flavor added. And uh, it's 5.2% uh, of alcohol. I don't know if it's strong or not. Uh, and I, I brought this cup from uh, the Minions Cafe. My, my water cup with me because I don't like drinking from the can because it's, it's just not comfortable. And. Uh, I want to see the color too, so let's see. Oh, it smells like bananas. Mm. It smells more like bananas than it tastes like bananas. It's delicious, it's very tasty. So, yeah, it tastes like bananas, but very um, slightly, but very tasty. <laughs> um, I found this uh, description at the Eagle Brewery uh, company site, and uh, it says that is, it is ale, C, what you see? Amber, smell, what you smell? Banana, fruity, sweet. That's correct. Taste, fruity, rich, benefit. I do not know what benefit is, but it is fruity. Uh, rich. Mm, okay. Style, flavored beer, that is correct. Sweet, four. On, on what scale? I don't know. <laughs> four out of how, ma how many? Bitter, 2.5. Again, out of how many? Food pairing, suggested food pairing is cheesecakes, chocolate desserts, nuts, and jerk beef. Jerk beef. <laughs> Not beef, uh, jerky, but jerk beef. You know, different countries. I don't know what jerk beef is, but I don't see how it would pair it with beef jerky. So. Maybe in uh, jerk beef is something different. But with desserts, yes. Cheesecake, I don't think I would be drinking my beer with the cheesecake. That's just silly. With the popcorn, yes. This is a great pairing. Banana flavored popcorn and banana flavored beer. That is so delicious. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> I looked it up. It's, I looked it up. It's not benefi, it's benofi, which is the combination of two words, banana and toffee. Benofi. <laughs> I could have thought of it. <laughs> nah, probably not. So yeah, so taste, fruity, rich, benofi. And it's, uh, um, hold on one second. Description, right? An inspired brew made with our own natural mineral water and fair trade bananas. Tempting banoffee aromas and flavors are balanced by silky richness of a masterful malt blend and the peppery spice of the freshest, ripest hops. Okay, banoffee, I just learned 
a new world. So yeah, so it's made with uh, uh, real bananas. And uh, they call it banana bread. I thought maybe they like ferment banana bread and add, you know, and that adds to the flavor because it, it does taste like banana bread, not just like bananas. And uh, my other uh, guess was uh, maybe it's a wheat beer and um, you know, like Blue Moon is a wheat beer, but it has like uh, citrus, you know, orange flavor added to it. So that's, that's what I was thinking. Maybe it was like another wheat beer, but with a banana flavor added to it. But no, it's, it's amber ale. It's an amber ale and uh, it has the real bananas in it. Yeah, I like it. I'm like having the best time of my life <laughs> with this too. <laughs> okay, so I am all done with the Minyan lamp for, for now. I would like to come back and try those other items at uh, Minyan's cafe uh, next time. But for right now, um, I'm done. And uh, just before I leave, I'm going to step inside uh, this uh, tribute store that is devoted to Jurassic Park um, anniversary, 30th anniversary and uh, see all those dinosaurs again yeah and maybe uh, pick up the the brownie if they still have it because it's the end of the day i'm afraid they're uh, like sold out plus you know it's friday so i would not be surprised all right let's go see them dinosaurs again starting with trixie hi trixie and uh, last time i was here they did not have the sign do not touch triceratops I guess everybody was touching it. I didn't because I saw the rope. That's why I didn't touch it, although I wanted. And now I like really want to touch it now that they put the sign. <laughs> oh my God, I want to touch her. Okay, let's go. We saw Trixie, now there is Rexy. Hi Rexy. Hi Rexy's plywood skeleton. Okay. Yeah. Ian Malcolm section. That's not what I want. I don't want Ian Malcolm plush. I want Ian Malcolm brownie. What am I supposed to do with the plush? Hold on one sec. Oh my god. Detailed. Look at those abs and chest hairs. Goodness. Okay. Back on the shelf you go. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Yeah, that was Robert Muldoon who was looking um, in the mirror and was his skin, I mean his face, sorry, <laughs> reflecting in that mirror, not Ian Malcolm's face, yeah. It's okay, we, we get it. They combined this and that, that's fine. Yeah, but, but what he said, in that scene he said must go faster <laughs> yeah they should have put that somewhere must go faster and uh, the funny thing is that uh, 4th of July is coming right and uh, you know that movie Independence Day where he was uh, um, in that alien ship uh, that uh, Will Smith character was flying and uh, they were escaping because they got busted and uh, they were escaping that um, alien mothership and uh, the, uh, the gate was closing and there was, they were trying to make it before it closes and uh, uh, he went, must go faster, must go faster, must go faster, he said it three times. That's the phrase uh, uh, from the other movie, from Jurassic Park movie, he used it in this movie too. But he said it three times, maybe because he couldn't do it just one time because it would be exactly the same, or maybe because he wanted to, uh, you know, to highlight it so people won't miss it and get it, you know, I don't know. All I know that this is still here, this is still for sale. I wonder if they're going to go down in price before the store closes, if it's still here, because everything goes on sale before the store closes. So, oh cool, reversible, so one side and the other. Yeah, but there is another bucket hat I like. Let me show you. 
it's this one right here. It's not reversible. I don't think, I don't think, no, it's not reversible. Yeah. But this is fun. Hmm. And uh, what, what I would do if I was like Jurassic Park hardcore fan, I would take this hat and I would pin this pins on it here. Because they are from the same collection. See them? See this? Yeah. Yeah, this is very cool. It wouldn't go on the head though. Yeah, this is perfect. Remember that banner flying down at the end of the movie? And these are two separate ones. <laughs> and uh, this is my favorite character. Dennis Nedry. Why is it green? It's supposed to be like purplish. Or was it dark green? Why do I think it was purplish? I don't know. Okay, cool. And this here is the most stressful scene in the entire movie. Let's see the doorway. Is there, <laughs> is there another raptor there? Oh, it's a mirror. Okay, fine. Good, good, good. One is enough. Especially this gorgeous. Oh my god, and her, <laughs> her claw is raised. Just like in the movie. Remember, she went like this with her like. <laughs> like, let me think, let me think. Where are the kiddos? Let me just stop and think over here. They even make those raptor noises like in the movie. Let me see if I can uh, recreate <laughs> this scene here. Hold on one second. I love this rain effect and thunder and lightning. My goodness, they did so great. Ooh, so scary. Wanna know something funny? In the movie, in that scene when, uh, uh, when she opens her frill, you can see the strings. <laughs> Yeah, they, they pulled the strings to open uh, her frail and you can see the string in the movie. That was funny and they kept it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they didn't notice and uh, later it was too late, I don't know. Oh look, they have this shot for kids too. Cool. Okay, so. This is a sign, you can hang on a nail or you can get this keychain with the same design or you can get this sign. Spared no expense. He said it five times, I believe, five times he said this phrase in the movie. He kept reminding them that he spared no expense. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, cutie. Is the hand still there? There it is. <laughs> bah! Ooh, I don't remember this last time I, were, I was here. I like this. Fifty-five. Oh, and my size too. I like it, but I don't need it. I don't even need this. But I, I'm just curious. If I gonna get the same couple, I'm hoping for Dr. Allen and Ellie this time. I like this idea that it's in a jar with the lid so you can eat some and save some for later and it won't go dry. That's cool, but nothing beats this. <laughs> Not even this. And I like this. Yeah. And all this crazy artificial food dye, I don't like. 
fudge. Fudge is good, but that's not the fudge that I would like to try. I want to try a uh, butterbeer flavored one, but it's not here. It will be where the Harry Potter stuff is. Yeah, okay. You're coming home with me, sir. So this one has John Hammond, spared no expense. This one has, uh, I don't wait for it, wait for it. The gate, welcome to Jurassic Park. Okay, and this one has, goodness, wait for it. <laughs> It's coming around. JP, Jurassic Park and T-Rex, nice. And this one, ooh, I can tell already, that's a mosquito. Okay, turn around. Ta-da, mosquito. Cool. That's hard to choose. Well, I know I don't want John Hammond. I don't like the guy. <laughs> And uh, this one, Jurassic Park, that's cool. And uh, this one, hold on. Oh yeah, JP and the mosquito. I don't know, I already have Jurassic Park gate um, as a plastic mold. Oh, they have another plastic mold here, the claw. Let's go get the claw. So, let's get this, $8. Got me coin. Guess which one I got? This one, this one, this one, or this one? Did you make your choice? Let's see. Let's see if you guessed right. And it's a mosquito. Is that what you guessed? And it says here, hold on one second. I, I think that was Ellie who said that. Where do you get 100 million old dinosaur blood? Perfect. And there it is. <laughs> Sexy, gorgeous Dr. Ian Malcolm. Oh, look at that. All right, I got my brownie and it smells so good. It smells like so fresh. I'm very happy with my brownie and um, I'm all set to leave but before I go I want to say bye to Trixie and uh, before I do that I actually want to open this pin set and show you what I got but before I do that <laughs> let me tell you something quick so in the book it wasn't the Triceratops that was sick it was a different dinosaur a Stegosaurus and I'm glad that St Steven uh, Spielberg um, picked uh, a Triceratops, a Triceratops instead because uh, I think it's uh, a better looking dinosaur. Plus it, you know, Stegosaurus has this small head and they were tending to it. And uh, if you want to see like details, you would want somebody with a bigger head, like, you know, to see details like that sick tongue or that sick eye, you know? Yeah, and uh, the Stegosaurus had like a bigger body and uh, this one is like more compact. So I, I don't know, that's like, I don't know, better shaped for the movie or better looking, you know, for, for the shot, you know, like I, I approve that um, he switched it from a Stegosaurus to a Triceratops. Okay, so the pins, right? So there are two of them and they will be in this black pouches so you can see right away. I'll wait until you open um, uh, two of them, right? set up too. And you can try to feel it and uh, and guess. Okay, this one has a hat. Yay! And it's a, it doesn't feel like uh, Hammond's hat. It feels like Ellen's hat. Okay, please don't be Hammond. Hold on. Okay, something like that. Oh, hold on. Is there like a little nudge? 
so it's easy to tear now. Just use your power, use your force. <gasps> Ellie! I got Ellie! Oh, thank you, thank you! Alright, next one we need Alan. Let's try to feel it. I guess feeling doesn't really help because I thought it, that was Alan. What was I feeling? Who knows? Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's Alan. I can tell that's Alan. See? I'm cheating. <laughs> See, that's Alan. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I feel like I won the lottery or something. But, uh, are you kidding me? I got Alan and Ellie. How cool is that? Doesn't take much to make me happy. <laughs> Sixteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, over there. Sixteen dollars, right? Minus ten percent discount. Get me, Ellie. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, so next, uh, Ian Malcolm, twice. Let's see, this is Ian, this is Malcolm. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting next. And my collection will be complete. All right, I'm all set. We can leave now. So silly. Okay, let's go. Mel's diner looks so good at dusk with those lights. Nice. But it's closed for refurbishment. I want to take a grape home for my dinner. I know I have leftovers, but I want something else. Uh, smoked brisket, straight corn. Uh, no, I don't want anything sweet, not this time. Uh, smoked brisket, yeah, there you go, let's try that. Yeah, no, This is spicy mayo, and this is brisket. And uh, what kind of cheese is that? Looks like pepper jack. Oh yeah, that is pepper jack. Oh, there will be coleslaw too, interesting. There it is. Uh huh. Okay. All right. And now we fold it as so. Okay. And it goes in the cone. And there is no to go. So whether you have it here or take it home with you, that's the only way. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Oh, hold on. I <laughs> got it. Yay, ta-da. Thank you. I did it perfect for the camera. Yes, you did. Can you please stick a fork in it? Sorry, like sure. full hands. <laughs> OK, so <laughs> go figure it out how you're going to eat it, right? So let me try it this way first by taking the whole thing out. Great. Don't break. Oh. 
I need another bite to decide on that. The crepe is uh, sweet and I think I'm uh, smelling this uh, this uh, slightly burnt that uh, that's what thrown me off I'm not sure I mean it's good but uh, coleslaw I don't know I, I think it would be better without coleslaw Also ruins it. If you get it, ask for no coleslaw. And it's a different kind of coleslaw too. Something is off about it. Okay, the rest goes home with me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And the brownie, uh, I'm not trying now, I already tried it in my um, last video. I've reviewed it and uh, I liked it. It was very rich, very chocolatey. It was uh, not overly sweet. And um, that um, caramel uh, ribbon of uh, salted caramel on top um, was fine too. I just don't like my caramel salted, uh, but that's okay. And um, if you want to see more of the uh, Jurassic Store uh, review, more detail, uh, again in uh, that video I will leave the link uh, in, the, uh, in the description box below so and uh, I guess that's it that's all everybody's leaving it uh, the place is about to be closed I believe it's like 8 30 p.m. so I'm done here it was another great visit uh, that minion land is awesome that beer uh, and uh, that popcorn is great yeah 8 38 um, yeah, and uh, I'll uh, try more items later in uh, the Minion Cafe. And uh, for right now, I'm all set. And uh, I hope you like this video. I hope it, it's not too long for you. All my videos are long, guys. Sorry. Um, there's just so much I want to, to show you. And uh, if you liked it, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. And for right now, have a good night and good rest. And take care of each other. Be nice to each other. Take care. Bye-bye. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye.